We've seen many forms of transport hit towns and cities in recent decades. Yet, trains have still reigned supreme. I mean, they're one of the most preferred forms of transport in the world. But as it turns out, some are just a bit more special than others. From the largest privately owned rail structure to the longest and heaviest freight train, here are 15 largest trains in the world. Number 15. Large Train on the Tehachapi Loop The Tehachapi Loop is a 1.17 km or 0.72 mile long spiral of railway in Kern County, California. It's positioned on the Union Pacific Railroad Mojave subdivision that runs through Tehachapi Pass and connects Bakersfield and the San Joaquin Valley to Mojave. Even though having this big loop looks like a bit of a waste of time, it's quite an important piece of the rail system. It's also one of the busiest single track systems, seeing about 40 trains a day. Now it's a National Historic Civil Engineering landmark. Seeing some of the largest trains in the world go around this loop is truly quite a unique sight. Sometimes they come out of the underground tunnel and around the loop while nearly crossing over themselves. The Tehachapi Loop was built to make it easier to go over the Tehachapi Pass. It allows the track to rise at a consistent 2% grade with an elevation of 23 meters. As high-tech and complex as the railway looks, it was all constructed in 1876 before heavy machinery and technology existed. A workforce of over 3,000 with dynamite and muscle power helped with its creation. Before we go on, like this video, smash the subscribe button, and click the notification bell right now, or this centipede will crawl on your face when you're sleeping. Number 14. The Rio Tinto Railway Mining corporation Rio Tinto has over 200 locomotives running on over 1,700 kilometers or 1,056 miles of railway tracks in the Pilbara of Australia. These rails transport ore from 16 different mines to four port terminals. Rio Tinto's railway is Australia's largest privately owned rail structure and even one of the largest heavy tonnage railways in the world. As you can imagine, it takes a lot of work to keep everything running like a well-oiled machine. Fluor is the company responsible for maintaining the rail system, and they've spent over a century making sure trains can reach their destination. This process has involved converting the railway from wood to concrete sleepers in recent years, and designing and building around 400 kilometers or 250 miles of new tracks. However, Rio Tinto has gone one step further than just new tracks. They've also invented in new trains, more specifically, automating trains. They spent $940 million on the trains and now have the world's first heavy haul, long distance, autonomous rail operation. The trains make a return trip of about 800 kilometers, with the entire journey, including loading and dumping, taking 40 hours. Number 13 BHP Billiton Iron Ore Train. As if we thought rail travel couldn't get any more innovative, records are still being broken. In 2011, there was a longest train in the world feat being carried out in Australia. Between the Yandi Mine and Port Hedland in Western Australia, BHP Iron Ore set the longest train record. This 4.53 mile or 7.29 kilometer train carried 82,000 metric tons of ore from the mine to the port. To put this into perspective, that'd be like having 402 Statues of Liberty on board. The train also broke the record set by BHP for the world's heaviest train. 
eight General Electric diesel locomotives drove the train with 682 cars with a gross weight of 219.8 million pounds, or close to 100,000 metric tons. The locomotives were put in three pairs with the cars, and a single driver took the train 170 miles to its destination in 10 hours and 4 minutes. The whole reason for the trip was to test the technology for pulling those longer and heavier trains. The previous record was set in South Africa in 1991 with a 4.47-mile train consisting of 660 cars. Number 12. Union Pacific Train it goes without saying that the more freight you can fit on a train, the less money you have to spend. So it's only natural for companies to test the limits and see just how much they can haul in a single load. Union Pacific set a record in 2010, running a 3.5-mile-long train from Dallas to Long Beach over the Sunset Route. Their goal was to test new distributed power configurations that may set the scene for even longer trains in the future. They used distributed power units, or DPUs, behind or between freight cars to enable them to haul those long loads without derailing. Initially, the DPUs were invented to help coal trains get up steep hills. Realizing they had the potential for lengthening the load, they were upgraded and more of them were used along the length of the train. In a previous test, Union Pacific had set up nine GE locomotives, with each pushing 6,000 feet of double-stacked container cars. All of the engines were wirelessly connected to the lead train car, which just goes to show how much train technology has advanced in recent years. Number 11. Sishin Saldana Train in 1989, employees of South African Transport Services had a reason to celebrate. They had just broken a world record for the heaviest and longest train to make a trip. It was a time of high stress and navigational nightmares, but they did it. The train was 7.281 kilometers, or 4.5 miles long, and it made the journey from Sishin to Saldana Bay, a distance of 861 kilometers. That wouldn't be all that hard to manage for a regular train but this was no regular train. It had 660 ore trucks loaded to the brim, three cars, and it was powered by nine electric locomotives and seven diesel engines. The record-breaking trip took seven years to plan, with the goal for the trip to take place over the weekend so that it could be put in the Guinness Book of World Records as the longest and heaviest train. The previous record was set in 1967, which consisted of an American train with 500 coal trucks over a distance of 252 kilometers. Just six and a half hours before the train was due to head off, a truck jumped the rails and ran through three sets of railway lines. Railway workers had to work quickly to rebuild the lines so that the train could get on its way. And did did, just almost seven hours behind schedule. Number 10. The Keen Railway in China the Dekin Railway in China, also known as the Tong Chin Huang Dao Railway, is a 653 kilometer or 405 mile long railway for coal transportation in North China. It gets its name from its two terminal cities, the coal mining center of Detang in the Shaanxi province and Chin Huang Dao on the Bahai Sea in Hebei province. The Ministry of Railways runs most railways in China, but this one's a little different. Instead, it's run by a publicly traded stock company called Dekin Railway Company Limited. To say it's an impressive railway is an understatement. It's capable of running over 100 pairs of trains at 80 kilometers an hour each day. with a daily transport capacity of 1 million tons. Freight trains on it often run with 20,000 metric tons, which is the largest carrying capacity in China. The double track lines are electrified, and they were constructed between 1984 and 1992 in two phases. During construction, specifications changed from one track to two. Over time, it's undergone extensive modifications to accommodate the latest trains and technology. It's also been modified to suit some of the largest and fastest trains as well. Number 9. Norfolk and Western Train 
Given the records we've broken in recent years, you might not think that the longest and heaviest freight train in 1967 is anything to celebrate. Although, just think about the technology of today and back then. Breaking records in the 1960s is just as much of a big deal as it is today. On November 15, 1967, the world's largest and heaviest freight train operated by Norfolk and Western Railway set off from Jaeger in West Virginia to Portsmouth in Ohio. It was described as the super train, given that it was four miles long with six 3,600 horsepower diesel engines pulling 500 coal cars. The train weighed an impressive 48,170 tons and covered 159 miles in just over six hours. That put the average speed at about 26 miles an hour. Just like we do today, this record-breaking journey was one to test the available technology. It formed part of an experimental program to look at locomotive power and efficiency to be able to offer more economical services. Since that day, the company has grown in leaps and bounds. They operate 19,500 route miles in 22 states and have the most extensive intermodal network in the East. Number 8. Big Boy 4014 in California one of the most famous locomotives in the Rail Giants Train Museum is Locomotive No. 4014, a Union Pacific No. 4014 Big Boy Class steam locomotive. This beautiful train has a 4884 wheel arrangement and is considered the heaviest single expansion steam locomotive ever built. They weigh about 1,200,000 pounds and have many design features added explicitly to this locomotive to accommodate their weight. Their length means they are hinged, and they have forward pony trucks and drive wheels swiveling independently of the boiler and rear drivers when they are navigating curves. This type of locomotive was designed for the transportation of heavy freight trains without help from other locomotives between Ogden, Utah, and Wyoming. It was actually while traveling through Wyoming that another big boy train was involved in an accident. Number 4005 was pulling a freight train when it jumped a track and threw the engine on its side. The engineer and fireman were killed, and the brakeman died of severe burns a few days later. The famous number 4014 was eventually retired after 18 years of service in 1959. After that, it was relocated to the Los Angeles County Fairgrounds. Number 7. Durango Train, Rio Grande Class K-28 Rio Grande Class K-28 steam locomotives must be so impressive and reliable that even though they were built from 1923 to 1925, some still operate today. The K-28 class locomotives were built by Schenectady Locomotive Works of the American Locomotive Company. They were the first new narrow-gauge locomotives to be ordered by the railroad since 1903. They consist of an exterior frame design with drive wheels between two main frames and steam cylinders and running gear on the outside. During their early years, they were used to haul express passenger trains. However, the U.S. Army also purchased seven of them during World War II for use on the White Pass and Yukon route in Alaska and the Yukon. However, their specific design made them at risk of riding on trackside ice, so they were all withdrawn from service and sent to be scrapped. Most of the recorded trains of this model were also scrapped in later years, except for a select few. Number 473 was retired in 1967 before being returned to service in 1981, then 2021. Another was put on display in a museum before being rebuilt and put back into service in 2018. Number 6. Vivek Express Train a Vivek Express train that travels from Dibrugarh to Kanyakumari in India is the longest route on the Indian Railways network regarding distance and time. It's also the 24th longest in the world. 
The train forms part of the Vivek Express chain, and there are currently four pairs of such trains. On this route, the train covers 4,234 kilometers, or 2,630 miles. With 57 stops along the way, the entire trip takes 79 hours. Even though there's no denying this is an impressively long distance, the other Vivek Express train also makes some extensive trips. The weekly train connecting Oka Gujarat to Thuthukudi in Tamil Nadu covers 3,043 kilometers or 1,890 miles. It makes this trip in 54 hours and 25 minutes. On this trip, the train travels through a number of states like Gujarat, Maharashtra, Andhra Pradesh, Karnataka, and Tamil Nadu. It also covers several important cities and is noted as being a train of religious importance. The Vivek Express trains have been around since around 2013 and they've been well received. As a result, there are plans to put in extra routes from north to east between Jammu Tawi and northeast India. Number 5. Paris Moscow Train while you're learning all about the largest, longest, and most impressive trains, there's probably a nagging thought in your head about how uncomfortable they can sometimes be. You might have had a bad experience on public transport or simply don't like being squished together with other people on your journey. Well, it's important to note that not all trains are like that. The one that runs from Paris to Moscow is certainly proof of that. This train offers a classy way to get from London or Paris to Russia. It's the second longest direct passenger train in Europe and would definitely rival a plane or private car regarding comfort. There are two and four berth sleeping cars, VIP deluxe sleeping cars, and even a restaurant car. Basically, the more you pay, the more comfortable you can be. Sleeper compartments transform from a standard seating arrangement into beds with a sink hidden underneath the table. You can also make use of clean toilets, with one of them even featuring a hot shower. Some of the VIP deluxe sleepers have air conditioning, sofas, ensuite showers, and toilets with soap. You also get complimentary amenities kits, flat screen TVs, CD players, and a hot breakfast in the restaurant car. Number 4. The Gone Train The Gone Train in Australia has always been a go-getter and a record-breaker, but it just seems to always try to better itself. In 2016, the world's longest passenger train became even longer when it added 650 feet of extra carriages. It already had 44 carriages and two locomotives. The record-breaking train set off from Adelaide on its maiden voyage with that extra length in 2016, traveling with a total length of 0.7 miles or 3,600 feet. It is officially 650 feet longer than the standard service. Let's put that into perspective. This train is six and a half times the length of Australia's famous cricket field, the Adelaide Oval. It's also the combined length of about 12 soccer or football pitches. Even though it has a top speed of 72 miles an hour, it typically travels an average speed of 53 miles. According to Great Southern Rail Director of Sales and Marketing, Steve Kernigan, adding the new cars was all about demand. They had seen an increasing demand for rail holidays across Australia. Now, 55 onboard crew service 22 guest carriages, 6 restaurant carriages, and 5 lounge carriages on each journey. They also make over 1,300 beds and cook over 3,000 eggs for breakfast. Number 3 Carajás Railroad There aren't too many people in Brazil who aren't familiar with the Carajás Railroad, an 892-kilometer railroad that connects to the largest open-pit iron ore mine in the world. To say this railroad and the trains on it are impressive is an understatement. The trains operate from Carajás to the Ponta de Madeira port, carrying 120 million tons of ore and 350,000 passengers annually, along with grain, oil, fertilizer, liquids, fuel, and more.
one of the longest trains in the world, is also in regular operation on the Kenajas Railroad, running with 330 cars and measuring an incredible 3.3 kilometers, or 2 miles, long. Most people know that this railroad is massive, but it's also known for other reasons. It's one of the most efficient railways in Brazil, thanks to advanced technology. It has an advanced drive system, radio frequency identification, and more. The railroad also consists of 73% straight lines, 27% curves, and there are plans to add hundreds of kilometers of extra railroads. These upgrades will be to accommodate the 10,756 cars and 217 engines that frequently use the Carajás Railroad. Number 2. Sheshnag Freight Train in 2020, Indian Railways employees were popping the champagne after breaking yet another record. They had run their longest ever freight train, a 2.8 kilometer long Sheshnag. It is now the longest train ever to run on Indian Railways. The train was made by joining four empty BOXN rakes and powering them with four sets of electric locomotives. The Ministry of Railways announced the new record by uploading a 2 minute 19 second video of the train crossing a platform. It was a pretty impressive feat and it was definitely a long train. According to Railway Minister Piyush Goyal, the experiment of connecting four rakes to run on the long train was a success. They had experimented with it to see if they could run more goods from one place to another. In total, there were 351 wagons and four trains traveling between Nagpur and Korba. This could have a huge impact on the transportation of their goods in the future. They even said that they're trying to run multiple freight rakes together to save transportation time and ease decongestion of the rail route. Well, I think they achieved just that. Number 1 Lee Creek Railway Seeing trains move along the Lee Creek Railway is absolutely incredible. In fact, many people are so impressed that they get their cameras out to see the hugely long trains trundling along. The South Australian government owns the Lee Creek Railway and leased it to Flinders Power in 2000. It was then given back to the South Australian Government Department of Planning, Transport and Infrastructure in 2017. The railway is 250 kilometers long and consists of 400,000 timber sleepers. It was initially set up to provide fuel for the Playford Power Station, and the final coal train arrived at the Augusta Power Station in 2016. When coal transport was a more common sight, Pacific National owned all the rolling locomotives and wagons. They could travel fully loaded at speeds of 70 kilometers an hour, and each train was 2,950 kilometers long. They each had 168 coal wagons, a compressor wagon, and three locomotives. Each of the 168 wagons had a maximum payload of about 71 tons, with an overall coal capacity of 11,928 tons. Ever since the privatization of Flinders in 2000, there was an average of 3 million tons of coal hauled each year. Trains may be one of the oldest forms of transport, but it's pretty apparent that they are still among some of the best, even today. I mean, who would have thought that we could run a hundred pairs of trains in a day on a single railway system? What's the largest train you've seen or been on? Let us know in the comments. Also, check out our other cool stuff showing up on screen right now. See you next time!